a really important video since a lot of gotten a lot of questions about the Nikon D850 as a uh, hybrid system. A lot of people don't know how DSLRs operate, and there's been an important question, and it actually has a really easy answer. And it's technology that's been around now for I think 15 years or more. Now people have uh, rightly so mentioned that if you want to do chimping of your uh, taken images, you uh, to uh, view them through the uh, the viewfinder of the Nikon D850 as a hybrid system, they wouldn't want to flip up the mirror every time to block out the light to the pentaprism, which as I said, even by Nikon's own patent diagram, would have the electronic viewfinder right here. So the way to actually get around that, which you would for taking video and pictures, you would need to have the mirror flipped up and it would operate like a regular conventional mirrorless camera is that the images uh, are being fed to the uh, sensor which drops it to the EVF so for images and for video that's necessary but the mirror does not need to flip up and this is really very simple if you hold with me it's called electrochromic glass it comes in opaque or black and the way that works is there's a tiny little window with a, uh, a film between that little piece of glass is a piece of sandwich glass. They actually use these in high-end uh, bath, uh, bathroom stalls, like in uh, really expensive houses where they're completely clear, but you flip a switch and it turns opaque. Well, there's also electrochromic glass that turns black. And instead of having to, if you do a lot of common chimping, you wouldn't want to flip up the mirror every time. You hear that flopping mirror flipping up is that Nikon would paste, uh, put a piece of electrochromic glass underneath the base of the pentaprism so the mirror could stay down for chimping images and then when you go to hit preview the electrochromic glass would black out the base of the pentaprism and then the EVF would turn on so that's how that technology would work and it is the technology has been around for quite a long time and one of the, in one of the EVF diagrams also um, the hybrid uh, viewfinder patent diagrams that uh, Nikon has submitted, there is shown, and I don't believe it's a focusing screen, there is shown a, a, a thin layer underneath the pentaprism, and what that would be would be electrochromic glass. I'll put two video links below so you can see what this is. Like I said, it comes in, I only know of two varieties, one that turns like a milky opaque where you can't see anything, and the other one uh, turns actually black. Um, one thing that's actually used the, that is uh, this is used for, and it's illegal, is that people will put electrochromic glass in front of their license plate on their car, and when they don't want to be tracked, since this is illegal, they'll flip a switch and their license plate will become invisible. Kind of ingenious, yet illegal, of course. But anyway, that electrochromic glass is a technology behind behind which and by which Nikon would easily let you. Um, view the chimped images without having to raise the mirror up every time. By the way, this is the center section of a Nikon a D500. So, the technology is really simple and it adds zero moving parts to the system of a hybrid EVF OVF on, uh, on the Nikon. So, thank you so much for watching. If you want to know electrochromic glasses, click on the links below. And uh, thanks for watching.